Being a member of Israel is based on faith and obedience. It has nothing to do with ancestry. A bloodline Israelite that willfully violates the law is kicked out of Israel, and a worshiper of a false god who repents and begins walking in the law is grafted into Israel. Yah is not a respecter of persons. We are all his children, and he desires all to come to him in faith and obedience. He does not discriminate on skin color, nationality, gender, language, wealth, education, social status, or any other man-made division that separates people in prejudice. Every person in the world falls into one of two camps. They are either a member of righteous Israel or a member of the sinning nations. It is upon this distinction, and this one alone, that Yah discriminates. There is not much commentary to be made on this claim of prejudice, as the contrary is evident in the word. These verses are but a small portion of the examples that could have been drawn from, which show, without question, that there is no prejudice towards fleshly differences in man. Yah has none, and he instructs us not to have any either. James 2, 1-9 My brethren, have not the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of glory, with respect of persons? For if there come unto your assembly a man with a gold ring and goodly apparel, and there come in also a poor man in vile raiment, and ye have respect to him that weareth the gay clothing, and say unto him, Sit thou here in a good place, and say to the poor, Stand thou there, or sit there under my footstool. Are ye not then partial in yourselves, and are become judges of evil thoughts? Hearken, my beloved brethren, hath not God chosen the poor of this world rich in faith, and heirs of the kingdom which he hath promised to them that love him? But ye have despised the poor. Do not rich men oppress you, and draw you before the judgment seats? Do not they blaspheme that worthy name by which ye are called? If ye fulfill the royal law according to the scripture, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself, ye do well. But if ye have respect of persons, ye commit sin, and are convinced of the law as transgressors. Deuteronomy 10.17 For the Lord your God is God of gods and Lord of lords, a great God, a mighty and a terrible, which regardeth not persons, nor taketh reward. Leviticus 19.15 Ye shall do no unrighteousness in judgment. Thou shalt not respect the person of the poor, nor honor the person of the mighty, but in righteousness thou shalt judge thy neighbor. Deuteronomy 1.16.17 And I charged your judges at that time, saying, Hear the causes between your brethren, and judge righteously between every man and his brother, and the stranger that is with him. Ye shall not respect persons in judgment, but ye shall hear the small as well as the great. Ye shall not be afraid of the face of man, for the judgment is God's. And the cause that is too hard for you, bring it unto me, and I will hear it. Deuteronomy 16.19 Thou shalt not rest judgment, thou shalt not respect persons, neither take a gift. For a gift doth blind the eyes of the wise, and pervert the words of the righteous. Second Chronicles 19.6-7 and 7. And said to the judges, Take heed what you do, for you judge not for man, but for the Lord, who is with you in judgment. Wherefore, now let the fear of the Lord be upon you. Take heed and do it. For there is no iniquity with the Lord our God, nor respect of persons, nor taking of gifts. Malachi 2, 7-10 For the priest's lips should keep knowledge, and they should seek the law at his mouth, for he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. But ye are departed out of the way. Ye have caused many to stumble at the law. Ye have corrupted the covenant of Levi, saith the Lord of hosts. Therefore have I also made you contemptible and base before all the people, according as ye have not kept my ways, but have been partial in the law. Have we not all one Father? Hath not one God created us? Why then do we deal treacherously every man against his brother by profaning the covenant of our fathers? John 7:24. Judge not according to the appearance, but judge righteous judgment. 1 Peter 1:17. And if ye call on the Father, who without respect of persons judgeth according to every man's work, pass the time of your sojourning here in fear. Job 34, 10-12 Therefore hearken unto me, ye men of understanding. Far be it from God that he should do wickedness, and from the Almighty that he should commit iniquity. For the work of a man shall he render unto him, and cause every man to find according to his ways. Yea, surely God will not do wickedly, neither will the Almighty pervert judgment. Job 34, 16-19 If now thou hast understanding, hear this. Hearken to the voice of my words. Shall even he that hateth right govern? And wilt thou condemn him that is most just? Is it fit to say to a king, Thou art wicked, and to princes, Thou art ungodly? How much less to him that accepteth not the person of princes, nor regardeth the rich more than the poor? 
for they all are the work of his hands. Psalm 62.12 And unto thee, O Lord, belongeth mercy, for thou renderest to every man according to his work. 1 Timothy 5.21 I charge thee before God and the Lord Jesus Christ and the elect angels that thou observe these things without preferring one before another, doing nothing by partiality. James 3.17-18 But the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, and easy to be entreated, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality and without hypocrisy, and the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace of them that make peace. Revelation 10.11 And he said unto me, Thou must prophesy again before many peoples and nations and tongues and kings. Revelation 7.9 After this I beheld, and lo, a great multitude which no man could number of all nations and kindreds and peoples and tongues stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. Revelation 15.4 Who shall not fear thee, O Lord, and glorify thy name? For thou art only holy, for all nations shall come and worship before thee, for thy judgments are made manifest. Isaiah 49.6 And he said, Is it a light thing that thou should be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob, and to restore the preserved of Israel? I will also give thee for a light to the Gentiles, that thou mayest be my salvation unto the ends of the earth. Isaiah 49.22 Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I will lift up mine hand to the Gentiles, and set up my standard to the people, and they shall bring thy sons in their arms, and thy daughters shall be carried upon their shoulders. Jeremiah 16, 19-21 O Lord, my strength and my fortress, and my refuge in the day of affliction, the Gentiles shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth, and shall say, Surely our fathers have inherited lies, vanity, and things wherein is no profit. Shall a man make gods unto himself, and they are no gods? Therefore, behold, I will this once cause them to know. I will cause them to know mine hand and my might, and they shall know that my name is the Lord. Malachi 1.11 from the rising of the sun, even to the going down of the same, my name shall be great among the Gentiles, and in every place incense shall be offered unto my name, and a pure offering. For my name shall be great among the heathen, saith the Lord of hosts. Luke 2, 30-22 For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, a light to lighten the Gentiles, and the glory of thy people Israel. Romans 2, 9 What then? Are we better than they? No, in no wise, for we have before proved both Jews and Gentiles that they are all under sin. Romans 2.29 Is he the God of the Jews only? Is he not also of the Gentiles? Yes, of the Gentiles also. Acts 10.34-35 And Peter opened his mouth and said, Of a truth I perceive that God is no respecter of persons, but in every nation he that feareth him and worketh righteousness is accepted with him. Acts 15, 7-9 And when there had been much disputing, Peter rose up and said unto them, Men and brethren, ye know that how a good while ago God made choice among us, that the Gentiles by my mouth should hear the word of the gospel and believe. And God, which knoweth the hearts, bear them witness, giving them the Holy Ghost, even as he did unto us, and put no difference between us and them, purifying their hearts by faith. Romans 2, 9-11 Tribulation and anguish upon every soul of man that doeth evil, of the Jew first, and also of the Gentile. But glory, honor, and peace to every man that worketh good, to the Jew first, and also to the Gentile. For there is no respect of persons with God. Colossians 3.24-25 Knowing that of the Lord ye shall receive the reward of the inheritance, for ye serve the Lord Christ. But he that doeth wrong shall receive the work which he hath done, and there is no respect of persons. Jeremiah 9, 25-26 Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will punish all them which are circumcised with the uncircumcised. Egypt, and Judah, and Edom, and the children of Ammon, and Moab, and all that are in the utmost corners that dwell in the wilderness. For all these nations are uncircumcised, and the house of Israel are uncircumcised in the heart. Psalm 67, 2 That thy way may be known upon earth, thy saving health among all nations. Psalms 86, 9. All nations whom thou hast made shall come and worship before thee, O Lord, and shall glorify thy name. Isaiah 2, 2. And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains, and shall be exalted above the hills, and all nations shall flow unto it. 
Isaiah 66, 23. And it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another, and from one Sabbath to another, shall all flesh come to worship before me, saith the Lord. Matthew 24, 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. Matthew 25, 32. And before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another, as a shepherd divideth his sheep from the goats. Mark 11:17, And he taught, saying unto them, Is it not written, My house shall be called of all nations the house of prayer? But ye have made it a den of thieves. Luke 24, 46-47, And he said unto them, Thus it is written, and thus it behooved Christ to suffer, and to rise from the dead the third day, and that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. All flesh is the same in his eyes. We are all children of Adam. There is no prejudice with Yah.